So after we covered the three supporting boards for the product roadmap and the product team, let's talk about how we can communicate and, and streamline the process between the product team and the R&D team. So I'm gonna go quickly into the product roadmap again. And this is something that we already saw in the previous videos. But then maybe I want to create user stories for this epic when I'm having my uh, quarterly planning. And I want to start breaking down this epic to smaller tasks or user stories. So one way would be to go into the dedicated teams stories board. Maybe I, I'm working with multiple teams so I can manage multiple teams boards over here and I can start assigning tasks over here and create user stories on those boards. And we'll see how we can do that as well. But another really easy way to do this is going into the item card over here. And this will tell me the info and stories. You can obviously rename this to be whatever you guys want. But then we have a linked column into the stories boards of each R&D team. So as you can see over here, we have a stories board for Jane and a stories board for Uriya. And these two are listed over here. And this means I can start adding tasks or sorry, user stories that will be describing and supporting this epic that lives within my product roadmap board. So directly from an item that lives within this product roadmap board, I can create items on a completely different board. This will be automatically connected to my item. So at any point, I can pull information from those other user stories board up to my product board. And I can have visibility into what, what's the status for it. And we saw that as a few minutes ago in the other video, we're pulling the stories progress for all the user stories that are supporting this specific feature. So if I'm going to go into this one, for example, we can see that once it loads in a second, we'll see that we have two supporting uh, user stories. Both of them in this case are living within the stories board from the Jane team. And then we can see that one of them is in a working on its state and another one is done. And we can see that over here as well. So that means that if I want to create another on a new user story for this, uh, for this team, I can do it directly from over here. So I can say that I have another user story. So I need to create it on the other board. You can see it reflected already over here. So we have one new item that is not doesn't have any status. And I can then come in here and say that this maybe is in a status, which is, uh, um, let's say that it's in a ready to start stage. So it will be reflected over here. So we'll see how we can create items, not only from here, but also inside of the R&D teams as well. But this is just another cool way to work and collaborate between the R&D teams and the product teams. Now, if I want to ask a specific owner or a specific developer for a specific user story that I know maybe is in a working on its stage, it's a must have and the due date is overdue, for example. All I have to do is click into it. I have all the information that lives over here and I can then communicate with that uh, R&D team lead or developer that, is, that are assigned to this task or to this user story. If I open the navigation, the conversation section, I'm going to be redirected to that item on the stories board. And then inside of the update section, you can then come in here and say, hey, Jane, um, can we sync on this one? Jane is then going to be notified. She can then come in into the dedicated item. We can have an open dialogue regarding this specific user story that me as a product manager have requested her directly from over here. So I'm going to go back to the uh, product board. And this is how essentially we can create items between the product team in the R&D team. It doesn't have to be created that way, but this is something that will allow us to, on the other hand, pull information, have visibility into a completely different board from within our board without having to dive into others' board, boards, emailing them, slacking them, sending them message over Teams and so on and so forth. Uh, if I want to have some more information without scrolling right or left, I can add another widget with information that is going to be listing uh, the same information that we see on the board over here in a different visual way. Uh, so this is one way to create items between the product team and the R&D team. So this is really useful for planning, breaking down epics into smaller tasks, and then rolling up information back 
from the R&D teams up to the product teams. And these are just examples of things that we can roll up information from. So we can roll up estimated effort versus actual effort. We can roll up the estimated ETA, uh, any discussion that happens within those low level boards, we can roll that information upwards. And obviously we can attach any PRDs as we said in previous videos. So in the next video, uh, we're also gonna be jumping directly into this stories board. So tasks that are gonna be created uh, from the product team inside of our stories board, we can now then break them down into tasks that are gonna be managed in the sprint management board. So we're gonna cover that in a second.